So slice all of your leeks and then place your leeks on your strainer. We want it relatively small because polish your kitchen is closed. That just means we're eating out. Hello my hungry friends. Today's Friday and kitchen's closed. Today on Kitchen's Closed, we're taking you on a wild adventure to the Polish grocery store. Why is, why is it wild? I don't know. Because <laughs> we're crazy around here. We take you so many exotic places, we thought we'd check out the grocery store. So, there's there's the three, two levels really of grocery store here in Poland. Three. That I three? Yeah. Okay. This is like a superstore. Yeah, this is like a super supermarket, like a super Walmart almost. Uh, if you think of it in that sense. Then um, you have like the normal Biedronka Lidl that's middle level. Which is similar to an Aldi's. If you have an Aldi's near you, if you've ever been to one, that's very similar to that. And then there's like mom and pop's little shops. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is where we normally do our uh, grocery uh, and household shopping. Uh, minus veggies. Minus veggies. Veggies are and done meats. at the Pagodno market, and meats. which we already showed you. So let's go! So this market is called B1, or this store is called B1, and it's located in a mall in Gumienta area or borough called Ster. Called Ster. Uh, borough of. Did I say Gumienta? You said Gumienta. Okay. Huh? And often in Poland, you will see that grocery stores are attached to a small, a mini mall like this. And you will find here, uh, a lot of these places are closed now because we have pandemia. I <laughs> hate pandemia. Uh, so a lot of these stores are closed, but there'll be, there's a bookstore here and a shoe store, some clothing stores and uh, dry, dry cleaner. cleaner. <laughs> Oh, and sweet buns, <laughs> <laughs> and the small food court that we just went by, and then this is the entry to the grocery store. And then this guy on the right told us to be behaving yeah. with the camera. Because we're naughty. We're so naughty with the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so in, in this mega store, there'll be uh, several sections like you would normally see in a big mega store. And this is housewares, where you can buy dishes and kitchen stuff kitchen stuff and uh, as you can see dishes and what else uh, some more dishes lots of dishes <laughs> my mostly in the housewares my dishes. favorite uh, section of kitchen widgets <laughs> pots and pines there it is wooden spoons for spanking your children those things hurt so bad Remember you hit me with one once I and I like I cried. I cried like, for like a baby. half hour. Yeah. It's terrible. This is where I got the stuff to make your Christmas present. I loved it so much. I made I made Anna a uh cookbook holder out awesome. of meat I hammers and, <laughs> and, and spoons, spoons. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going into some of the clothing and just like a regular mega yeah, store yeah it's like it's like super walmart super walmart bikes even and some sporting goods and, and now we're getting into the grocery aisles where you can buy breads and uh, they're normally baked on site. They have a bakery in the back and they, uh, so when you enter the store, you can smell freshly baked breads and sweet buns. Sweet buns, and you can also smell the fish section. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you can smell it. Yeah, I'm sensitive, there, there it is. There it is on the right. <laughs> a nice variety of whole fishes and um, fillets that and smoked fishes do whole fishes freak you out when they look at you and you're eating them no oh.
What's he got in there? Sledge. Sledge. Rows and rows of little pickled fishes. Mm. Oh, thank you. And more sledge. And more sledge. And more sledge. And very much sledge. Everywhere, everywhere. This is pickled sledge. Yeah. Fried, not fried fish. That's pickled. Do you love it so much? I do. <laughs> <laughs> do you like shopping in this store? I do. I prefer this one over most... The, yes, 95% of the stuff we get, I like to go to this store. It reminds me... And it sounds silly, but it reminds me of home. And also, it's just everything is there in one location. We can get all our fruits and vegetables if, we, if there's nothing specific. Uh... Well, we don't really do meats here, but we can get everything else. And, yeah, and that's, I like that's why I like this one, too, because it's huge and unusual things like, uh, what was we just, pa well, we just passed? The fruit. Grapefruits? No, the large yellow ones. Melons. Melons. Sometimes they aren't, they're not available at the market, but here we come and everything is here. The only thing that we don't find here is cilantro. True. They never have cilantro here. I don't know why. Even dried mushrooms. Love these. Don't even have to go mushrooming if you don't want to. But Good. why wouldn't you want to? It's I so want to. Fantastic. I want to. I always want to. And look at this variety of meats. It's chicken, and you can even get um, rabbit and and beef and pork. Duck, goose. Duck, duck, goose? Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> lamb. I mean... Look at those ribs up there. You name <gasps> it. Oh, I could play with those this summer. And these are all the Here's parts. Here's the map of the animals. <laughs> <laughs> it's like take you back to school. So, it's steak. There's a wide variety of steak. I have yet to find good steak in Poland, minus two restaurants I've been to. I don't know what it is. Somebody please help me. It's a challenge. <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> and here, yeah, we're just passing duck and goose and rabbit. And those are portioned uh, off uh, soup, rosu, so chicken soup there's, portions. Yeah, there's whole rosu right there. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's chicken soup ready to be made. Yeah. And mm. parts for flatki, tri tripe soup. It's really convenient. It is convenient. They make it really easy for us. And it's not frozen, it's all fresh. Some livers and hearts. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Mm. <laughs> Remember when we were in uh, Sicily and they had horse? They had horse in Sicily. We did not buy the horse and the meat, but we did eat a horse sandwich. Yes. Mm. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and here's some prepared foods that you can buy already smoked and sliced meats sausages cheeses from all over the place Poland and Hollanderske from Holland with big holly crazy Dutch people. And for those of you who are vegetarian and vegan, there are options for that too. All these are vegan and vegetarian. Vegetarian hot dogs and sausages. Some and of it's not bad. We have yeah. some vegetarian friends and we've tried some of them and some of our bad. Now here is where it seems most f very familiar to back home is a lot of the frozen prepared. The frozen foods. section. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's frozen pizza, French fries, you pierogi. know, pierogi. I gotta say, I think the U.S. wins with uh, frozen pizza yet, though. I haven't found one that 
you know. Oh, those frozen burgers. We yep. should try those sometime. Oh, and tater tots. That's something else. All right. America, I need you to help me out. Send me tater tots. I think the cameraman's drunk. So at the end of each aisle in this store, they have a bio section or an organic uh, section. So there's an example of the same products you'd find elsewhere in the aisle, but organic at the end. I love this mustard. Mayonnaise. This is a good one right here. I like this one. Then they had Hellman's came out with the baboonie. It's supposed to taste like like they came out Hellman's came out with a mayonnaise here, but it was like an American style. And people weren't eating it. So then they had to come up with the baboonie, which is more like a Polish flavor mayonnaise. Here you go. So here's something fun I'd just talk about. The Poles love of different kinds of ketchup. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, people. I am. So we have well I'm just gonna do this so that I know what I'm saying. We have a garlic. We have hot and spicy picante. We have more picante, more picante, more picante. That means hot, spicy. And we have classic wagodne, means sweet or mild. Minimal calorie one. We have you all know that one, Heinz. They like their ketchups. Whole aisle of ketchups. And their sauces. Sauce barbecue. And then they have this thing called hamburger sauce. Where is it? Let me see if I can find it for you. Ah, oh, yes. Sauce hamburger. I don't know. I can't describe it for you. I mean, it kind of tastes like ketchup and mayo put together. But, I mean, unless they're thinking about what's on a Big Mac, I don't know what they're talking about. Uh, the pickle aisle. Many pickled things. Jalapenos. Where are like the pickled mushrooms and things? Right here. Ah, paprika. Ooh. What's that, baby? Pickled mushrooms. Here, go make it go like towards the camera, like this type of oh. thing. That end down will. No, this end up a little bit, that end down. There you go. There. There you go. Wait, 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 wait. I want to have some later. <laughs> Are those the ones we picked in the forest? Yeah. Here, I have a new ketchup. It says the pizza. Okay. I never really realized how much ketchup. There's how a much lot of ketchup. ketchup. There is. And the funny thing is, if you go to some, and not so much anymore, but a few years ago, if you went to a restaurant and asked for ketchup, they like looked at you like you were crazy, and they gave you like one drop of ketchup. And now ketchup is flooded everywhere. It's awesome. Here's some ready-made meals uh, in jars. Gawampki, which is um, uh, meat and rice wrapped in a cabbage leaf. 
Also known as cabbage rolls. Cabbage rolls. So technically, you would you don't have to cook. You don't. No. You, you can go and get, like, here's pasta on the other side of the aisle. There's the ready-made sauces to go with it. You can just heat everything up, and Bob's your uncle. You have a meal. I need to try that. The whole not cooking thing. I don't think too many people <laughs> will sit here and want to watch us just, you know, heat things up. Yeah. <laughs> Bars Biawe. Have you made that for the channel yet? Bars Biawe? Mm-hmm. I made Jurek. It's just different uh -huh, flour. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Soured flour soup. That's rice. And more rice. We like rice, too. <laughs> And vinegars and oils. There used to not be anything else in the store but the vinegar, so we're lucky to have kshan and other things now. So talk about kshan. That's a very important thing in the Polish Kshan is a world. prepared horseradish. It's grated and sometimes it has sour cream in it, or not sour cream, cream. Or sometimes it has just a little bit of vinegar. What do you normally eat it with? Sausages. Yes, biawa kielbasa most likely. Oh, and there's and kielbasa there in a jar. And biawa. <laughs> and jarred sausage. And smallets, bacon spread. Pastet. A lot of... There's a whole row <laughs> uh, of pastet. And then you have clams and fishes. That's this whole row. Canned fish. Yeah. Oh. My favorite aisle is coming up. And now, on to the greatest aisles in the joint. Oh, wait, not yet, huh? <laughs> Which aisle are you going down, woman? And here is the aisle de la Beverageova. We have, we have your power drinks. All your, you know, like Gatorade style things. And then over here, you have your colas. What was the first soda you had in Poland? Was it Coke or Pepsi? I think Pepsi. Pepsi? Mm -hmm. They won. And that's Oranjada, the red one. <laughs> that's, that's what we drink when we were kids, sparkly sweet drink orangeada sugar and red color number two what's up with these boxes so here in the states we have massive refrigerators the rest of the world has normal refrigerators and so they designed a lot of these juice boxes uh, to fit in the fridges of the world and what i mean by that is sometimes you have to lay them down Sometimes they have to fit in the door. And so they made these cartons here. Square. Square. So they don't roll around when you lay <laughs> them down. See, watch this. Oh, amazing. Just super. I, I love this. I love these little cartons. They make so much sense. And now the Instead of the aisle. huge juices Beer. we used to buy in the States. Notice how... Beers are all stacked in single bottles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which except, is which is good for most people. Yeah, except for the canned ones. You get four packs, which is good for most people. Which except is good for, for us. most people, too. We want to get that 12-pack right yeah. away. <laughs> What's I up miss, with single beers? I miss my 24s and my 30 cases, <laughs> you know? 
I would be okay with a six pack. And yes, people, you can buy them in the racks that you see, but then you have to return those those racks, and it's anyway first world problems. That's what we have. It's uh, that's all we're we in have. the first world. That's right. But the selection of beer at this at this grocery store is magnificent. From um, and zeros. small these beers. Are all zeros. Yeah, so these are really popular in Europe right now. I don't know if they are in the states. Let us know if they are. Um, non-alcoholic beers, uh, because most of the time in the rest of the world, the penalty for drinking, having any alcohol in your system while you're driving is severe. So zeros are very, very big here. Zero alcohol beers. And they taste good. They do taste good. They, most of them taste very good. My favorite is Beck's Blue. I like the Heineken. Ah, you do. And I like the one with mango. Hard liquors. Mm -hmm. This is super popular. What is this, babe? Oh, those are Schliefkove, so there's vodkas, flavored vodkas. Some of them are plum, some of them are cherry. The white ones are not regu regular vodkas. The Zubrovka is a... The guy just dropped a whole stuff. bottle of vodka next to me. <laughs> Tonya. Tonya. <laughs> Different flavored vodkas. See, there's a cherry one. And Zubrovka... Oh, the Zabrufka has a, a piece of grass in it. Yeah, from the Buffalo Park. Spiritus. That one's 70%. That's exactly what you need for hand sanitizer. We don't drink this stuff, people. No. We sanitize. <laughs> <laughs> Of the of All right, somebody let me know what are they what are the prices back home in the states right now on scotch and Irish whiskey because I think the prices here are pretty good. Glen Libbet 18, Dewar's, Glen Fittish 12. Nice little pocket warmers. Pocket warmers? Did yeah. you say? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, find our favorite chips. <laughs> the str no, the strong <laughs> make taste like ketchup or whatever <laughs> it was. Remember? There's real potato strong flavors. Mm. <laughs> then there's an Oriental salsa. Where's the ketchup? There we go. Mm, 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 tasty. Yeah. Roasted ribs. Which one? Jiberka ribs. ribs. Yeah, that's <laughs> smoked ribs. And Aha. Chakalaka. 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 The taste of Africa right here in Poland. <laughs> Hold on, Chakalaka. Paprika and cream pleasure. That's the best. What? Read that again. Paprika and cream pleasure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, mean, I don't have my glasses on, but that's pretty plain as day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Try to find something that Hannah will eat that isn't a bunch of crap. So instead of boxes of cereal, we get them in bags here. She's about sick of Cheerios. Boxes take up space. Boxes do take up space. Bags don't. They don't. Uh, candies, oh candies everywhere. What are some Polish candies? Uh, so, this is a chocolate covered hazelnuts. Uh huh. And then these are famous in Poland, this brand Waber. And they uh -huh. produce a variety of chocolate covered thingies. Thingies, they're really good. Uh huh. We should go to one of their shops. Mm -hmm. And the, these are Polish. Okay. 
I like Prince Apollo. And Princesa. That's a big one. So this is like wafery chocolate yeah, and wafers. Is, uh, milk chocolate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then we get to the bar section. Chocolate bars, that is. Oh, hold on. Yep, I gotta, don't, we gotta not throw up on people. Oh yeah, we're at Christmas edition. Look at that. They're uh, chocolate covered, kind of marshmallow. Marshmallow -y fluffiness, oh, yeah. Fluffy. Yeah. And this many varieties. Yes, many, many, many varieties of chocolatey goodness. check out. Oh, now we'll watch Aja do all the work. Hurry up. The mad dash to pack everything. And notice how many checkout stations are there. There's 36, I believe. There's 36 of them. And I've never seen more than seven open at a time. Not even during Christmas. I have no idea <laughs> why they have so many. I don't know. And you have to pack your own groceries. Yeah. I think that's pretty standard outside the U.S. Yeah. I want to show the people of America my frustration with European shopping carts. <laughs> Give it a spin. Do you see this insanity? Do you see this insanity? Look at the back wheels, guys. They're not locked in place. Now, when you try to pivot around a corner with a heavy thing, what does it do? Show me what happens when it's heavy and you try to go around a corner. It goes like that. Come on, Europe. Dancing cart. It's a dancing cart. Lock your, lock your rear wheels, okay? So you can pivot around the corner. We'll get some bread. Bread ski, bread ski. And sweet buns. And sweet buns. <laughs> to Bagetka we go. And here's another different thing about European carts. I love this. You take your cart back and you insert the little widget into the hole and your coin comes back. So you need a coin to get a cart so there's no stra stranded carts all over the place. Cause th there's got to be something wrong with you as a human being if you leave a shopping cart out in the middle for another car to hit. There's just... just, it's just it, it's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. almost subhuman. It's okay. Just don't do it. Return your, <laughs> return your, return the cart. Return the cart. This, Europe has got this on lock. I love this return your cart thing. Get your key back. I just love it. Pet peeve. Get, get your one coin back. Get your one. It doesn't matter. It's the point of return your cart like a human being, like a good person. It's a pet peeve. I have very few. Thanks for watching. If you liked our video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel so we know to make more videos for you. <laughs> Make sure you go on to www.polishyourkitchen.com, hit the link for the merch store, check out some of the wonderful merch that neither of us are wearing today, but it's nice stuff. We promise. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.